Hey everyone, it's me, the Don Fanatic, and welcome to week one of the Pokemon Premier League Season 3. This week we are playing Gravy, another Jack, so this is officially the Jack Off of Season 3, uh, and the Vancouver Titans. Now obviously this is the first week we are both 0-0, zero, zero, um, but it's going to be a tricky game because Jack does have a very good, um, let's call it a trophy cabinet when it comes to Draft League. Maybe not so much in the PPL, but in many other leagues, Jack has had tons of success and he is very much respected in the community when it comes to Draft League. Uh, also, his content is incredible, so please make sure you check out his link and the other coaches' links down below. Jack's team is just disgusting, really. Um, it contains Great Tusk, Raging Bolt, Slow King, Zarude, Seraledge, Hisuian Braviary, which can be Terra Flying or Steel. I think he has changed one of those now, but for this matchup, it was Flying and Steel. Uh, Rabombi, Mousehold, Weezing, and the Alolan Sandslash. So he's pretty much got everything, and I think quite a lot of coaches have deemed his draft possibly S tier slash one of the best in the PPL this season. So it's going to be a very tough opening game for us, um, but fingers crossed we have got the team to take him on. First up in the squad this week, we've got Toucan and the Blastoise. This week we're running a physically defensive set, mainly because of two key threats on Jack's team. We've got the Great Tusk, which Blastoise isn't necessarily an answer to, but can be a nice pivot, and Serilege. Uh, this set can completely wall Serilege if he does decide to just run Bitter Blade and Poltergeist. As you can see, I'm running a Citrus Berry. The reason this will help with Poltergeist is once I have used the Berry to heal some health, then obviously Poltergeist can't be used against me. I am slightly concerned potentially of a Shadow Sneak set as well. We've got Flip Turn to maintain momentum. As I mentioned before, momentum is huge in my team and prevalent, and I think I've got three uh, momentum moves on my squad this week. Um, Surf is there for damage against the Serra Ledge. I am going to be mindful, however, of potential weakness policy and weak armor sets. Rapid Spin to remove any hazards. I kind of feel like I have to bring that this week because my opponent does have sticky webs on their team. And while my team isn't necessarily the fastest, it's pretty consistent, it's not slow either. So I think sticky webs could be quite nice, as a lot of Jack's main offensive threats are bulky and slow. And then Ice Beam is there for coverage uh, against the potential Braviary, if it's not going to be Terra Steel, which I am thinking it might be, but also it could potentially hit the Raging Bolt for something if it decides to switch out on Blastoise, which it very well could do. Uh, as you can see, the EVs along the bottom were pretty much max HP, max defense. Not entirely sure why I'm running foreign speed, if I'm being completely honest, but it is what it is. We're obviously a bold nature too, to completely maximise our defence, and we're running the torrent ability, as I don't really see Jack bringing rain this week. The second Pokemon on the squad this week is Sindar7 the Cinderace. A pretty standard moveset of Pyro Ball, U-Turn, Zen, Headpart, and Sucker Punch, along with the Libero ability, means I've got potentially four different moves that can hit for stab damage. Along with a jolly nature with 184 speed EVs, this allows me to outspeed his entire draft, anything that isn't called Rabombi anyway. Um, we're going to have max attack because obviously we want to maximise our damage output, and then we've got a bit of investment with our leftover EVs into physical bulk, as this will potentially allow me to take grass moves from Zerud a bit better and fire moves from Seraledge uh, a little bit better as well. Cinderace's main role this week, well, two main roles this week, are going to be Click U-turn to maintain momentum, obviously we've already covered Blastoise, we've got two Pokemon with momentum based moves here, and also this is here for the Zerud and the Terra Steel Braviary, which I expect either both or at least one of to come this week. Um, Esper Wing, Terra Steel, Braviary scares the bejesus out of me, but this thing should take a hit, potentially. Or Jack might just miss Hurricane and be able to retaliate with a strong Pyro Ball in return. If he hasn't got a speed boost, then this thing should be able to just come in and take it out quite easily anyway. Our third Pokemon this week is Gliscor. Uh, it's a very standard set, and a slightly toxic set, pun intended. Um, but it's really effective against Jack's team this week. Uh, we are running Earthquake for a stab against the likes of Raging Bolt and Serilege, and potentially also the Steel, Hisuian and Braviary. Um, and also the Weezing and the Alolan Sandslash if Weezing isn't obviously uh, Levitate. We are going to run Toxic and Substitute. Um, Jack's team is very susceptible to Toxic and he has a very bulky team with the likes of Slow King, Raging Bolt, Great Tusk, Zarud, and overall just kind of spreading that status is going to be quite useful. Uh, we are going to run Substitute as well. I'm aware that the Mousehold, if it does come, could have the 
Encore, which could be a slight problem, um, but I do have another Pokemon on the team, which you'll see in a minute, which can kind of handle that issue for me. Um, and then finally, we've gone for Rock Slide. This fourth move changed quite a few times in team building. Yeah, I had Psychic Fangs at one point, um, but I kind of settled on Rock Slide in case he did decide to bring Hisuian Bravery and not Terrestrialize into a Steel type. While I did have Toxic, um, it doesn't put out enough initial damage to stop potential Espo Wings, etc., from you know getting out of hand. Uh, we are running a pretty standard Toxic Orb and Poison Heal set, and we are going more for death this week, and that's to help us with the Raging Bolt. Obviously, I'm immune to its Electric Stab, but I will obviously take damage from the special uh, Dragon moves, so Dragon Pulse and Draco Meteor. Um, with this spread, I am able to live a couple of Dragon Pulses um, with a Booster Energy, um, which is nice, but Draco Meteor will do a lot of damage. The combination of Toxic Orb and Poison Heal, though, um, will recover me quite quickly, and Jack does have to consider the fact that I will be faster and click Earthquake against him anyway. So that's the kind of like a partial check, but also it's there for Serral Edge as well as a backup plan if Blastoise doesn't work. Just overall, it's going to be annoying for Jack to deal with because he doesn't have much offensive pressure with Ice and Water moves um, outside of the Alolan Sand Slash and Ice Spinner on Great Tusk. So I think Blissful is going to be a real asset to me this week. The fourth Pokemon on the team this week is going to be Typhoon the Latios. It's again a very standard set this week, but it's very effective against Jack's team. Um, the one thing that Jack's team does suffer against is Dragon Spam, with his fairy being Mouse, uh, sorry, not Mouse Hold, Ribombi. Um, I have mentioned a few times he does have Terra Steel on his Hisuian Bravery, which is also um, a Dragon Resist, and he does have a loaded Sand Slash, but both of those are susceptible to Aura Sphere. So Dra Draco Meteor Spam here is going to be really effective against his team. Um, he really struggles to switch in, basically. Um, Luster Purge is there, just a strong stab, and obviously it's boosted by the Soul Dew as well as Draco Meteor, and I do have the chance to drop my opponent's special defense by 50%. So even if he wants to, or Jack wants to potentially switch in a Slow King to Luster Purge, I get this for Death Drop of Draco Meteor, is then going to do a ton of damage to him. And obviously I have flip time to maintain momentum as well. That's another third Pokemon out of the first four that have a momentum based move. I've already mentioned we're running Soul Dew, it's just a really good and safe option on Latios. It's almost basically a life orb for my stab moves without the HP re recoil. So again, really solid choice. Levitate, because I have to run Levitate. Timid Nature is essential here, sadly. Um, Jack's second fastest Pokemon, I think. No, third fastest is uh, the Zarud. So I am running 250. Sorry, 216 EVs in speed, which is enough for me to outspeed a max speed Zerud. Um, and again, Aura helps me hit the Zerud as well, which would have been an issue with my two stab moves. Running max special attack, just so those Dracos hit as hard as I can. And then 40 in HP, just because they're my leftover EVs and it helps me with my overall bulk. Um, again, this also potentially gives me a nice kind of pseudo switch in into things like the wheezing, into potentially fighting and ground moves coming from Great Tusk, and just generally every time this thing comes in, it's going to cause a lot of pain to Jack's team. The penultimate Pokemon on the team this week is what I think is going to be the best Pokemon on the team, and that is going to be Miss Magius, aka Magnifico. A really standard set once again, with Shadow Ball, Nasty Plot, Substitute and Dazzling Gleam. Running Leftovers along with Substitute just to recover a bit of health. Levitate, again because it's its own ability. And again, <laughs> a Timid Nature. Um, I've opted to go for Timid this week because it will then at least allow me to speed tie with Zerud if it is a max speed Zerud. And I feel like that is quite important. The one thing I haven't put on the graphic for this week is that I am actually running Terra Fairy Miss Magius this week. The combination of Fairy and Ghost is incredibly hard for any team to switch into, but it just so happens that Jack's team is very susceptible to this typing combination. You've got Great Tusk that's weak to Fairy, you've got Raging Bolt weak to Fairy, you've got Sloking weak to Ghost, you've got Zerud weak to Fairy, you've got Serenade weak to Ghost, you've got Hisuian Bravery if it doesn't tear a weak to Ghost. Ribombi is a Ribombi. Mousehold is a Mousehold. Weezing is a Weezing, and Sand Slash is a Sand Slash. So the six that I kind of see Jack bringing. Um, are all weak to the dual stab of Terra Fairy Miss Magius. Um, as I've mentioned previously when I was talking about the Lumberry on Cinderace, I kind of suspect Jack might bring some speed control because his team is slow um, and I am quite speedy and have a lot of momentum so things like Thunder Wave will be really useful or potentially Sticky Webs will be really useful. Um, so I am running Substitute because I will outspeed potentially Raging Bolt and Slow King, if it wants to click Thunder Wave. 
Also, my substitute will be quite free once the Raging Bolt clicks Draco Meteor. Um, and then Jack has to basically pick a set once I'm behind the substitute because I'll click Nasty Plot and then I'll then click Shadow Ball or Terror Dazz and Gleam and kill something. Um, we are running a bit of HP this week to help me take on the Raging Bolt a bit better, giving me an opportunity to set up alongside that and the Sloking. Potentially this is rude as well if I'm Fairy Typing. Um, and also Fairy Typing helps me take a great task a lot better as well. Um, and then I will have the rest in speed. I've already mentioned that's just kind of potentially speed time with Zarude if it comes. Um, this thing is going to be like my breaker, but it can also act as an endgame sweeper as well. Because if I can get rid of a mouse hold or a Rebombi, I outspeed everything and his team just does not appreciate my dual stab at plus two. The final Pokemon on the squad this week is none other than Tinkerton. I've already mentioned how much Jack's team struggles against fairies. Um, but the fact I now have a bulky fairy as well really helps me pivot around this team and also kind of disrupt it a bit. We've got Play Rough because like I've mentioned, fairy stab is strong against Jack's team. Knock off for just general utility of knocking off uh, items. I really ummed and ahed between Reflect and Light Screen. Um, I felt like I could handle Jack's specially offensive Pokemon a lot more than I could the physical threats, so I felt Reflect um, was more beneficial upon reflection, knowing how the game goes. I wondered if Light Screen might have been better, but hindsight is a wonderful thing. And then finally we are running Stealth Rock as well, because Jack does have a couple of Pokemon weak to Stealth Rocks in the Serial Ledge, the Braviary and the Rebombi. Um, and his removal is alone on Sand Slash and Tidy Up Mousehold and Great Tusk. So actually he has got good removal, um, but I don't know if he'll be too tempted because a lot of his team deal with hazards pretty well to be fair. Um, we are running leftovers on this thing because it doesn't, it doesn't have that recovery that I need it to have in a move. So leftovers giving it gradual HP will be really nice. Um, obviously I'm running Mold Breaker because it's basically the only nice uh, <laughs> I, uh, ability to have on this thing. And you do have the careful nature too. EV wise, I kind of went for a mixed set um, because the special defense in this <clears throat> is enough to kind of deal with the Raging Bolt. Um, and scare it out. And the physical defense then allows me to deal with the Zerud a bit better uh, as well, as well as potentially Great Tusk if I have got a Reflect up. I am running eight in speed just in case Jack wanted to be cheeky and try to out uh, speed creep my Tinkerton. Initially in build, I did have a lot more speed in it just so he had to be adamant max speed to outspeed me. I didn't really think that set would come. I kind of thought it might be a bulky offensive set or a bulky set. Um, so. I decided just to leave a little bit in there just in case Jack did try to speed creep my Tinker Tongue this week. So this is the squad, this is the six, let's just get straight into the battle. Okay everyone, we are here for week one of season three of the PPL, uh, up against Jack Gravy. I'm sure I've mentioned all this already, but uh, <laughs> the draft and the build up to this week, uh, I got married and I was on my honeymoon. Uh, abroad in Santorini. So I only had access to my phone to do building and, well, I say calcs, I haven't done any calcs because I refuse to use calculator on my phone, uh, as in the damage calculator. So I'm really not expecting a good result here. Um, I'll have done a team builder before this. I'm not too confident in the matchup. Um, I think there's some things on each side which can do damage to each other, but I feel like Jack's probably got the better matchup overall. Um, but yeah, the team that I've put together is literally I thought, yeah, it looks all right, put it on there. Um, done some EV shenanigans, but that's that's about it. So um, we'll get into the battle here. Let me just quickly message Jack and say, I'm now searching. I'm out of breath, it's because I've just finished building a chest of drawers as well. Um, I want the, I want the Tarakis, I want the Petron song. And if I haven't mentioned it already, this is the Jack Off. Um, myself being Jack and obviously Gravy being Jack. He is considered better Jack. I'm considered worse Jack. Might be able to settle that today. We do obviously, um, well actually I don't know if you do know, but we do have a third Jack in the league now and I think he's in our division as well. So, uh, I've got Latios, Tink, Core. There is a bravery. Okay, he bought mouse hold. Interesting. He, there's a lot of things there that I I can't remember what he didn't bring off the top of my head. He didn't bring Rebombi, so there's no hazards, which is great. Uh, sorry, sticky webs. Uh, Blast toys. Uh, Cinderace. And 
Mr. Magius. So Mr. Magius goes absolutely crazy against the six. Um, I have to watch out for two, the mouse hold. So he has got the, what's it called? Braviary, mouse hold, uh, Raven Bolt, Serene Edge, uh, Tusk, and Slow King. So he's got quite a slow team here. Uh, he could, would he have Trick Room? Raging Bolt, maybe, but I don't think Raging Bolt has the best matchup, so probably not. I think Tinker Tun is quite a safe lead. Um, it does well against everything that isn't Cyril Edge and Tusk, so we'll go with that and play from there. So good luck, have fun, Jack. Uh, we'll see how this goes. The Jack off. Oh man, and if I uh, mumble and say random stuff, it's because I haven't, I haven't done a draft league game since the last game. Um, and like I said, my prep for this game has been non-existent. So uh, I'm not too confident. We'll just roll with the punches and, and see what happens. So it couldn't be me, it's the mouse hold. So this is good. Um, he might have Super Fang on this. I don't actually know what mouse hold gets. Like, uh, mouse hold. So obviously I resist the population bomb. I don't believe this is a Terramon. Uh, this is not. So Braviary is his Terramon in this game. Um, I could click Reflect. Does this thing get Taunt? Uh, Population Bomb, Low Kick, Play Rough, Seed Bomb, Shadow Claw, Switch Root. Does get Taunt. He could click the... Oh, I don't know what he could click. I might click the Knock Off here, see what happens. Um, this isn't really what he wants. He does click the Super Fang and he misses. No, he hits. Okay, I thought he missed. Um, he does hit, which is fine. We knock off the Citrus Berry. That's, that's okay. Um, is he going to click the Population Bomb on the next turn? What's he going to click? Do you get Knock Off? You get Shadow Claw, Encore, Taunt. So obviously like Population Bomb, I have got a Ghost. I haven't... I need to keep this thing healthy because this is really good against this uh, Raging Bolt. Um, so I just don't know how I want to play this. So I go Blastoise. Blastoise isn't a bad shout because I do have the Citrus Berry and that means I can then pretty much wall Serral Edge if I eat my Citrus Berry. Um, so I think I need like a heat on course. Okay, cool. So if he wants the bullet seed or something, then that's fine. I'm just gonna flip turn. This is the nice thing I have about my squad. I've got momentum on three of my mons and now of my whole draft, I've got tons. The Thunder Wave mouse hold, fine by me. I'm not here for speed on, on this thing. So let's go flip turn. We do hit it and connect, that's nice. How much is this all doing? Like, is this physically defensive? Because if he's max speed, he outspeeds everything other than Cinderace. Um, so let's just go Tinker Tarn, Mouse, Hold. Uh, I think you're knock off 25. So are you max HP? 21 to 25. I think he's defensive. So let's just say he's max HP. Let's go into Cinderace. So Pyro Ball has a good chance of killing. I am Lumberry. Um, I could just U-turn out back into Blastoise. So he's at 60. Pyro Ball, if he's, if he's max HP, Pyro Ball to 69 to 81 with my set. If he's defensive, 50 to 59. And if he's got some form of physical defense, then... So, I could click Pyro Ball, because I am Lum. Um, I think Raging Bolt is his switch, if he does decide to switch. I think I'll U-turn, because I think if he stays in, he switches. Okay, so that's nice. Um, 
What's that thing? It's got no form of recovery now. It's got Thunder Wave. I've got Miles. Uh, you turn out. So he could be... Is he Solar Blade? I am like max defense. And he's weak armor. So there's the weak armor. I have got Sucker Punch on this thing, just in case. Um, so is he the... Uh, is he the... Let's go into... So he's faster. So I've obviously got Blastoise for this. Uh, Seru Ledge. Last choice. So Portalgeist is 35 to 41. Surf won't kill this thing. Um, and that'll give it weakness policy. So I could flip turn and then try and do Sucker Punch. Shenanigans. Um, or how well does Gliscor take it? Okay, Gliscor does okay too. But I think, um, we go Blastoise. He's gonna be weakness policy, but, um, do I wanna click Surf, or do I wanna click the Flip Turn? Flip Turn does half. So Cinder, I think Cinderace will kill regardless. This thing is a nice switch into the mouse hold, um, because of the power. So let's click the flip turn, because then I'll just click the sucker punch button after that. He withdraws, okay, that's good. I want to try and get my rocks up then. Find out if he boots. So he goes mouse hold. No power, okay, nice, no power. So I think this thing is now in Cinderace range for the... Uh, The what's its face? I've forgotten what it's called now. Does he get a knock? I don't think I want to populate the population bomb. Let's go into um, this thing. So mouse hold, you have to be max defense to to flip turn to max HP. I think you're just max HP. I don't think you're anything more than that. So what else have you got? You've got a few things that switch into fire moves here, to be fair. Um, if I click U-turn, you go into Blastoise. If I click Pyro Ball, I don't get the Libero boost. No, I do, because I stay a fire type. So I think Pyro Ball is safe. So does he go back into Ledge? Great, so he goes into Great Task. If I can get a burn, you're not booster energy. That's nice damage. So, I don't know if he's scarfed. That's my only issue. I don't know if he's scarfed. And. So, hang on. Zen had but to Great Tusk. Are you offensive? How much did Pyro Ball 33 to 38? I think he's max HP. Zen Headbutt, but then I need to be a Libero, so am I now a Psychic type? Let's check what happens if 44 to 52. So, Headlong Rush will kill. If I'm not a Fire type, Headlong Rush doesn't kill, but I don't know if, um, I think this is, this is what Gliscor is here for. Like Tinker Tun helps with the task. It obviously helps with task as well. If he clicks Ice Spinner here, then fair play. He clicks Ice Spinner. He withdraws. I get my Toxic Orb off though, which is nice. Master Edger. So we do get this off. Now, do I click Sub and just start spamming the? Out. No, I just click toxic. Let's just click toxic. I'm faster. That's a surprise. Yes, these. 
How much does? Gliscor do to Seri Ledge. Oh, you saw his dance. Um, Earthquake has a roll to kill, unless he's bulky. If I hit him with the Earthquake, he goes... So I think I click sub. As I'm, you know, I can stall him out a bit, a bit of blades. Get into a range where... I need to get into about 70. How much health can we get back? Mm, quite a bit. Um, but with the poison heal and the sub, I, I will win this exchange eventually. Because Toxic will rack up and he can't really then, like, switch because then I'm a free, free Toxic on pretty much anything. But this is where he might then go into Braviary and start clicking buttons. So he's, he's got a think here. He withdraws. Couldn't be me. So here comes the population bomb. Is it going to be the population bomb? Is he going to click Encore? How much does population bomb do? Mouse hold. I can't spell mouse hold. 252. Jolly. 10 hits. Population bomb. To my Gliscor. 70 to 87. That's if it's attack invested. If it's not, then. Well, that has to break my sub first. Look at EQ. It's super fangs. Does that break my sub? Is that how that works? It is. So he doesn't have population bomb. It lives. <laughs> That's annoying. I don't think I've really got anything else. That I think this is max HP, max speed. So I don't think I can go into Miss Magius like freely. I'm gonna click Earthquake. It gets the Super Fang in. Okay, that thing was annoying, but it's not a success. It's not a success. So Mouse Hold goes down. 0 and 1. The score goes 1 and 0. Padel will be happy. The Council will be happy. So, Poltergeist from Sarah Ledge if it's max attack. So he's Great Tusk. It's, it's, it's gotta be Ice Spinner, right? It's gotta be Ice Spinner. Has to be. So now Mouse Hold's gone, unless he's got any Scarfers. Unless he's got any Scarfers. Cinderace, Latios, Miss Magius, and probably Tinkerton outspeed most of his team. Um, I need to keep this score for the graveyard, I think. Um, this comes in. He puts not, that's fine, because now I'm a polar guy switching. Um, I think I flip flip the turn, and then I get a free switch into my. Uh, what's its face? My, actually, my Miss Magius looks incredible right now. Don't get power. Do not get full power, please. Eugene Levy. Is that going to be the... Oh, it's you. Okay. Okay, we do land the flip turn. That's nice. Your Terra Steel or Terra Flying? How much, so that flip turn did, uh, very, very, let's just say P, agility, flip turn 18 to 21, and you're bulky of some kind. Um, I've got Tink, that might give it too much of a setup opportunity with Vesper Wing. That, 
this is hard. So, my outspeed is you in bravery then, with my, I don't know how long I've got left, Gliscor, 226, 251. We'll go into Gliscor, because I think Gliscor is probably my most expendable card. I think. Now, if he Terra Steals, obviously I can Earthquake. If he doesn't, and he goes Terra Flying, then I have Rock Slide. I am fearing that this is Terra Steal. So it could be Terra Steal or Terra Flying. If it's Steal... Do I click sub and see? I'm gonna click sub and see if I'm faster, to be fair. So he's Terra. If, if he's Steel, I could've quickly be gone. But th this thing is terrifying for me. This thing is actually terrifying for me. There's the Terra Steel. I just need to chip this thing. I'm faster. So is he gonna click Esper Wing? It's the Hurricane. If I'd have clicked EQ that turn, that would actually have been a go to play. I didn't see an air balloon. If he's air balloon, then I'm gonna cry. He switches. Okay, this is nice. What's he going out into? I don't think he has a ground resist. Great Tussie. That's fine by me. Is there any world where I'm faster than this? I don't think so. But. Does he double into Raging Bolt? Does he double into the Raging Bolt? And start trying to set up on me. Does he double into the Raging Bolt? Do I live my spinner here? Uh, great. So if you are not invested, Ice Spinner does 61 to 72. If you are invested, Adamant, then I definitely die. Oh, it's like it's a kill. Any any like roll is a kill. Um, I just don't know what item he is. And I think Gliscor is my best bet for the Braviary. And now with Seraledge Toxic, I know it's slower than Gliscor. Yeah, you could scout spinner. So we scoured that well. We get our flip turn off again. This Blastoise is an incredible pivot for me this game, honestly. I haven't even got my rocks up. If I got rocks up, uh, I still think he's choice. He must be. He must be choice. He withdraws. Am I going to get the full power this turn? I bet I am. He drops this. That's, that's sloking. Ah, oh, there's the para. You know what? That's actually not too bad. If I flip turn now. Am I going to be slower than sloking? That's bad because I mean it's annoying because I could have got a free switch into the Miss Magius then. My oh, weakness policy. Eject button. Mm, okay. So does he pick first? So you're not AV, which is really good, because I was scared he was going to be AV. Raging Roger. Do I not switch out now? Is that how it works? Special attack was heightened. I don't switch out. Okay, I didn't realise that's how that worked. Um, does he predict the hard tink switch? Does he predict the Gliscor switch? How much does this do to Gliscor? So he's uh, raging bolt. You're not calm mind. Dragon Pulse to Gliscor doesn't kill. Well, it's probably a roll to kill, isn't it? Uh, how much HP am I at? 243. Excuse me. I'm at 69, so I should live any hit unless it's a Draco. The Draco? No, I don't know. Um, if it's a 
Thunderbolt, I think Tinker Tom might live. So I'm just going to go Tink. He clicks Earth Power. Does he get Earth Power? I don't know. Then Fair Play. So I didn't know Eject Button stopped Flip Turn. So yeah, we'll, we'll see. He clicks the Dragon Pulse. Nice. Um, I'm going to get some Lefties Recovery. So he's not Draco. And now, how much does... So Protosynthesis is a special attack. Um, Tinker Turn. I wish I was... I really wish I was... Um, what's his face now? Is he going to want to waste his... What's his face? Is he going to want to waste his... What's it called? I forgot what it's called. To play rough. Do I now I'm gonna put my rocks up I think. I don't I don't think he stays in. He stays in. Okay, that's slightly terrifying. I did not assess the threat, clearly. <laughs> um he discharges. Oh, powers. No power. <laughs> We've got rocks up. Um that will help me tell if Sarah Edge is boots or weakness policy. And I hope get chip on just everything, really. Um, a bit on Tusk. Is he going to make the Serenage switch this time? I'm going to miss the play rough. I'm going to go to nice. Yeah, well played, well played. So now I go into Glitch Score. I should have clicked Reflect. So he clicks the Dragon Pulse. I'm just clicking Earthquake. He doesn't have a great switch into this now. Because I can just Toxic. Like, I think Slow King is a switch in now. He might go Tusk. But Gliscor has now become super mega important. Eve is death. You are pre is death, aren't you? Dragon Pulse. He can't kill me. Is there a roll? My cat is going absolutely crazy at the uh, at the door. Um, raging Bolt, Earthquake. So you're clearly, let's say you're max HP. He's got, if he's max HP, that was like the lowest roll I could have got. If he's not max HP, and he's defensive as well, then there's a good chance he'd live. But um, I'm just gonna click Earthquake. We need to keep this thing around for Raging Roger, although without the Protosynthesis it's going to be slightly less scary. Um, I had I have Rock Slide on this thing, and I kind of wish I had U-Turn now. He draws. He hasn't got anything that wants to switch in. Great Tussie. Does he ice spinner here? What does he do? The earthquake. I have to keep this score. I have to. Um, does he click close combat or headlong rush? What's Blastoise helping me with? Blastoise really helps with Serenage. This thing, I'm pretty sure it will just sweep after a nasty block. Cinderace. Do I live here on Cinderace other than like a ground move? So if I go to, oh, I haven't got time, have I? We're gonna go Blastoise. If he clicks anything that isn't Ice Spinner, then he could click Rapid Spin here. But you know, you know, like Blastoise is my physical, yeah. My physical like pivot. Um, here I click Flip Turn, try and keep some momentum.
This great tusk can't really switch into a lot anymore. <sighs> I think I'm free to pretty much Terra Fairy on this Magius now. Uh, wait, what killed my team? That was Raging Bolt. Can't get any hazards up again, which is annoying. But this is where I'm going to get fully. Oh, okay, no. What's he going out into now? Drop this. Please don't fall power me. Okay. Um, I'm going to flip turn again. Right, what's he going to do to me? That's like terrible. Like that tusk is so scarce. It's so scarce. Not clicking a water move, so I'm going into Cinderace. Not clicking a water move. Can you click Thunderway? It's got to be <sighs> Hello. Oh, sorry, is she crying? I can't talk to again. He must be he withdraws. Okay, good. So we're getting more chip with the toxic. This. I just need that switch. Please don't let me go free for free on Paris. Okay, thank you. Right, I have the switch. Into the mismatches now. Is it go time? Ice Spinner, Rapid Spin, Knock. So if he's got Headlong Rush, his best move to hit me will be Ice Spinner. I just don't know if... Does he sack the Tusk? I think he sacks the Tusk. This is where we find out if he's... Oh, he could. Okay. Suck this first. Thunder Wave, excellent. Okay, we are so in. We're so in right now. I think this Magius might just seal the deal here. Might just. Uh, Tink didn't get a kill. I can hear Jack now just going, oh fuck. Let's click Nasty Plot. Does this thing get on cool? What does this help? What does this help? I think I think Miss Magus is getting a kill here. Um Eugene Levy, who's that? What are you gonna do? So if I get rid of this thing, this score becomes more expensive. I'm not going to Terra. If I was Terra Ghost, that would have been so good. Actually, no. Terra Fairy's going to help in case he's got the Shadow Sneak. Terra World, where is this? Is he AV? He could be AV. 
pinkies, I think. I spoon? Pink bay. He hits the pink bay. What is this man doing? What is this man? <laughs> um. Latios doesn't even hit the field yet. I'm actually getting rid of this. It's huge for Latios. Absolutely huge. Um, do I just Shadow Ball? Because I think I still get a kill on anything after. I'm just going to click Shadow Ball. I don't want to mess around clicking sub looking for misses again. Um, I think Braviary is about to go down. Last has been such a pain for him, and I love it. And this Magius is not. What killed Tink? It was the Raging Bolt killed Tink. Oh man, this game is so intense. What's he doing? It's like now it's all gone. He's got nothing that'll take this. He sacks it. So this Magius gets killed. If Tusk comes in, I terrify because there's no callback unless he has I. Poison jab or something. Then fair play. I can't do anything about that. I think this thing is about to go on a tear. Uh, early contender for the MVP race here. But hey, it's going to be a 4-0 at worst, so, if I lose. But if he's not scarfed on, if, if he's not scarfed on Tusk, he won't come in now. Is he just smoking? if he's max HP. Does he click Thunder Wave though? If he's max Spideff, sorry. If he's not max Spideff, I'm just max HP this game. I'm going to do it. Come on Magnifico, crit him. This Spideff. Okay, does he Thunder Wave? He Thunder Waves. I should have clicked the sub. I should have clicked sub. should have clicked sub. If I had to click sub there, I'd have, I'd have just swept him. Oh, I just thought he'd, I thought he'd click an attacking move. That's my, that's my fault. Um, does he withdraw this? He hasn't got a shadow ball switch in. He does switch out. Now, do I land? Is he going to suck, 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 sack? Yeah, he sacks the tusk. Take a full parrot. I've had enough of that. Okay. His magic kills tusk. Really sad I took Shadow Ball off. Uh, I'm so annoyed that I, I lost that like mind game. Master Edger. So who's left? Raging Bolt. Okay, so I need Gliscor for that. Slow King and Serenage. I go two cannon. I go, Blastoise. I've got Sucker Punch, Insurance. And Miss Magius is still going to be really useful against. So I should live a hit from Raging Gold, and I'll live a hit from Slow King. I'm getting a kill there, basically. I have no item. I am slower, so I think Toxic and Flip Turn is going to be huge. Because he knocked off my. This is where I find out his Power Herb Soda Blade, and I'm just like, yeah, fair play. Maybe you can't be Sword Science, Poltergeist, Bitter Blade. If he's Soda Blade, then he doesn't have Shadow Sneak, but... Just don't full power me. Just don't full power me, please. Full power now would be awful.
withdraw. Cloaking. Cloaking. I hate my life. Um, he's gonna click, he, can't, he won't click some of the yellow magic. Oh, he might click some Or did he click chilly reception here? I don't want to get my Latios paralyzed. Does he click the yellow magic button? I nearly had Dark Pulse in this game. He clicks Chili Reception. He clicks Chili Reception because he needs to regenerate health on this. I think Cinderace is probably the most expendable one. Yeah, he, he, he clicks Chili Reception. So are you turn on... You turn on Tusk. I suck a punch on... What's his face? Because... I... If he is um, going to just SD mind game me, then I will win to Toxic. <laughs> yeah, it fails. Uh, I'm just going to play Sucker Punch over and over again. Because he's Toxic, I'm just going to do it over and over and over again. Toxic's huge. He's a berry. Pretty sure I just win the fight uh, by clicking Sucker Punch over and over and over again. Soul Stance disable Poltergeist Bitter Blade. I'll give you it. I'll give you that. That's a that's pretty good tech. That's a very good tech. Um, I'm going to go Blastoise because Cinderace is still very good with the U. I need my EU turn. Or some late game damage, that will be because it's especially defensive sloping, so it will be you know, really effective. Uh, how much can I do? Oh, that's a lot. That's why I wish I had active yet. But this means it doesn't have sneak. So that's nice. And I can go do score. Spear Blade disables Sword Stance. I think. I mean, I think if I go Discord, I win. Because he can't do Bolt. He could go Sloking. But then I think I just win with. I didn't weak arm him either. Because the Sucker Punch games. I think I click Earthquake. And if you go Sloking, then I'll just top click, I guess. Um, Blastoise did incredible this game, though. Uh, Serial Edge. The Toxic on this thing is huge, by the way. Let's go. Excellent. So I think if I can get Toxic off. I'm speed Bolt. He could Thunderclap me, actually. So Cinderace, I sack Cinderace, I sack Cinderace. Because uh, this thing's going to be... I need it for the Raging Bolt. Um, so it's just Raging Bolt and Sloking that score. Yeah. That's fine. I'm gonna go into you. So I'll still outspeed this. I'm pretty sure. Um,
He's not gonna click. He might click chili reception. Do I win if I just click nasty clock here? As long as I don't miss. Oh, there's still there's still way for, I'm just clicking shadow ball. I'm clicking shadow ball, I'm not thinking. This is fine, because then you can't regen anymore. So I just need to land a toxic on that thing. So is that a score? Chili reception. We'll click Terra Dazzling Gleam just in case. He might not Thundercloud. Miss Magius has got bulk on the special side, so I'm pretty confident that nothing will kill me here. But this is where I'm going to get bloody uh, miss all my moves and full power and whatnot, so... Alright, we revealed the Terra Fairy. This is going to be like this game. If I'd have just clicked the double, I'd have soaked it. My Miss Magius would have just slept. And if I don't win now because of that, I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna kick myself. This game has gone on for ages as well. Discharges. Okay, we hit. He's killed. He's killed. Miss Magius is actually playing the fine player. And we get lefties. So I think I still outspeed. I just want to land one shadow ball. That's all I need. Just, just one. Yeah, this is coming in this magic show. That's just shadow ball. Okay, we don't get parried. I think that's game because I can just drop a drink on this thing. Special defense drop. He's got a large. Nice, nice tech. Nice, nice tech. So I think my play is I go I go Gliscor. No, sorry, I go Latios. Drop a Draco. Miss, probably. And then if I if I hit that, oh then I break. Uh where's my Latios? Uh, that's another slow king kill. I don't know if that's two kills for slow king now. I think it is, yeah. Um Miss Magis goes down. Miss Magis got robbed of a sweep. Absolutely fucking robbed of a sweep. Um yeah, I click Draco. Probably miss. And I'm pretty sure as long as I hit this. Uh, Draco doesn't kill. Okay, we hit nice. So I can just click last version. Well, actually, I can just click Earthquake. So. <laughs> this man loves his black magic. Oh, does he have slack off? I click last purge because I outspeed. I outspeed. Like, just don't get parried. Thank you. Okay, so it's the 2 0. Lost the page kills, the drink is a miss, and that's a GG to Jack. We actually got the dub. We actually got the big fat dub. I honestly didn't expect that. Um, what a game. <laughs> um, GG to Jack. I actually think that's probably one of the best Jack offs I've ever had in my life. Um, and I hope it was for him too. Uh, so that puts us 1-0. Now this happened last season as well, and it, it was just a 2 and throw season. So hopefully next week I can maintain the uh, momentum uh, and actually you know, look to get a top 4 finish so I can go for playoffs. I haven't had playoffs in, in draft before, so I'm really looking forward to that. Um, but yeah, I've rambled enough now. I hope you enjoyed that. I'm sorry it was so long. I'll see if I remember to do some editing of it and you know clip it a bit. But um, yeah, make sure you leave a comment uh, of what you thought of that. And uh, leave a like too, because that was a hell of a battle. Um, and I look forward to seeing you for week two. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.